goal of this project uh, was to, to keep the, the, the residents that are currently uh, out of the floodplain because of this being a flood protection system to remain out of the floodplain. If we weren't doing this uh, project, this uh, levee area around Vernon Creek could become decertified, which means uh, the, the potential for residents that live along Vernon Creek would have to purchase flood insurance because they would be considered uh, being part of the, the flood, 100 year flood plan. More of a local drainage basin, so when Waterloo in general gets like, you know, a, a five or six inch rain, a, a really heavy rain, um, that's when you're gonna see most of the increases uh, on, on Vernon Creek. Um, the other times will be when the Cedar River is high and we have to close that gate to the Cedar River and then we get maybe a four or five inch rain, um, we'll see some, some increases in, in Vernon Creek then as well because the, it's, it's not flowing directly to the Cedar River, it's being pumped into the Cedar River. Phase one and phase two, uh, as far as the, the wall, um, the, the flood protection, that's all been completed. Um, they have been seeded, uh, and hopefully we get uh, good seed growth here in the, in the next couple weeks and then, you know, in the, in the spring. Three is similar to, to phases one and two. What, what's happening, uh, based on uh, FEMA guidelines, uh, the, the flood protection level in this area did not meet the, the standards for freeboard, so what we have to do is raise that protection level and in the park area, we're raising it about four feet on average, um, and that's going to be raised on uh, kind of along Fourth Street here and along the park entrance. Uh, from there, we tie into to higher ground. The wall will taper down and, and kind of the wall height actually stays the same, but the existing ground elevation is uh, higher on the ends where our wall ties in. So the wall will look like it's getting shorter when in actuality the existing ground is getting higher um, and we'll kind of tie off to, to high points there so we don't have to include the wall on the back side of the park. For, for this area, unlike uh, segments one and two, we are not going to add a fence on top of the, uh, the wall. This area is a, a public meeting area, it's a, it's a public park, so you know we want to allow access to this area so there won't be any fencing. Um, there will be a, a flood control opening, um, but unlike segments one and two, that'll be opened all the time unless a flood event was to occur. Then the, the removable flood uh, stop logs, they're called, will be placed uh, in order to, to have flood protection in this area. As far as bank protection and slope protection, this area is relatively flat and it's used as a park area. So we won't be doing the, the concrete lining and the, the channel lining like we did on segments one and two. The overall project um, is scheduled to be done in November. Uh, we're, we're hoping that by the first part of November we can be done with most of the, the flood wall work. And then it'll be uh, cleanup items, you know, sidewalk, uh, any channel, remaining channel lining, uh, items like that, seating. Um, and then there may also be some seating that needs to happen in the spring. After, after this project is completed, we will submit documents to FEMA that, that indicate this project was completed as, as planned. Um, and they will uh, reflect that in the, the flood maps to show that the area outside of of Vernon Creek where our project took place is, is still certified and outside of that 100 year flood plan.